So, do you remember when we thought Earth was merely doing a leisurely lap around the sun? It turns out to be a lot more thrilling than that. Scientists believe that as Earth travels through the galaxy, we may meet some strange phenomena such as cosmic rays, which can interfere with our genes and perhaps cause mass extinctions. And get this, changes in our planet's orbit could potentially cause dramatic climate shifts, such as another ice age. Talk about the Earth rumbling, we normally conceive of planets orbiting the sun, but zoom out and you'll see a whole new cosmic dance party. Our entire solar system is whirling through the galaxy like a roller coaster. What's more, guess what? Earth has its own moves as well. Our planet's orbit around the sun is not a complete circle, but rather a squashed circle known as an ellipse. As we get closer and closer to the sun, we experience changing seasons. Here's a surprise you didn't see coming. You know the classic image of the solar system, with the sun in the middle and planets circling it in circles? Now is the time to shake things up, brace yourself, because the planets are not only swirling around the sun, but they are also tugging on it. They act as little cosmic influences, causing the sun to wobble and move its location. Hold on tight because we're about to discover how Jupiter and Saturn, the huge gas giants, hold a cosmic party with the sun and Earth. These massive giants are playing a serious gravitational game, forcing the orbits of all the planets to wobble and jiggle. When Jupiter and Saturn align even slightly, they throw a stellar party that affects the entire solar system. This cosmic dance is known as the perturbation of the outer planets. Subtle changes in Earth's orbit induced by the outer planets can now have a significant impact on our temperature and ecosystem. The Milankovitch cycles are what we're talking about. These cycles are similar to Earth's natural rhythm, with one of the dancing moves being a shift in our planet's axis tilt. It's like a cosmic dance that shifts every 41,000 years from a sassy 22 degrees to a jazzy 24.5 degrees. This tilt variation influences how much sunlight different portions of the Earth receive, which can completely alter the timing and intensity of ice ages. Can you image Earth busting some icy moves? Prepare for the greatest cosmic spectacle, the Milky Way galaxy. It's a massive playground of stars, gas, and dust covering over 100,000 light years. What a star-studded extravaganza. The galaxy enjoys twirling like a windmill, its spiral arms waving in the cosmic breeze. It's like a galaxy ballet, with everything in round orbits around the center, including our wonderful Earth. We're like the cool kids in one of the spiral arms, some 25,000 light years from the center of the galaxy. We live in the coolest neighborhood in the universe. Unlike the solar system, where the sun is the main attraction, the Milky Way galaxy is a genuine ensemble piece. It's like a cosmic soap opera in which every celestial body has a role to play in the gravitational field. People, it's a gravitational free-for-all. It's not simple to keep track of everything in this galaxy dance, but wow, is it gratifying. Are you ready for the most amazing part? Just like the Earth revolves around the Sun, the Sun revolves around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. It's similar to a grand tour that takes around 230 million years to complete. That's some real dedication. This tour introduces us to many neighborhoods of the cosmos, similar to traveling from one cosmic zip code to another. What's more, guess what? The stars in the galaxy center are the neighborhood speed demons. Because they have more mass and a stronger gravitational attraction, they move faster than the stars in the outer regions. It's like a galactic race, where the closer you get to the center, the quicker you move. It's as if the Sun and Earth are on an endless cosmic road trip with a little of a head start. And have you ever seen how the Sun and Solar System smoothly revolve around the center of the Milky Way? That journey, it turns out, isn't an easy, smooth ride. Hold on tight as we get into the wild details. First and foremost, the Sun's orbit isn't a clean circle, rather, it's a squashed ellipse. 
As it sails along, imagine the sun bobbing up and down above and below the cosmic plane. This oscillation occurs once every 60 million years, sending the sun on a cosmic bouncy ride. What is the source of this wavy motion? It's the gravitational pull of other stars, gas clouds, and even the enigmatic dark matter hiding in the galaxy. We're currently flying several light years above the cosmic disk's central plane. But here's the catch, there's more stuff below us, so the disk's gravity tries to slow down our upward journey. We'll reach roughly 300 light years above the disk center in a few million years before coming to a cosmic standstill and beginning our descent. But hold on, there's more. This vertical trip is more than simply a fun ride. Some astronomers believe it is linked to big Earth events such as mass extinctions. The Sheba theory indicates that being closer to the center of the disk puts us at a higher risk. Because there is a larger density of stars and radiation there, it is a dangerous neighborhood. Let us now discuss the spiral arms of the galaxy, those magnificent cosmic spirals. While the complete tale is still being unraveled, scientists have some intriguing possibilities. The gravity of other galaxies in our local group, the galactic cluster we call home, is thought to impact the speed of the spiral arms. Another reason is the occurrence of density waves, which ripple across the galaxy disk like ripples in a pond. These waves have the ability to force stars and gas into and out of the spiral arms, resulting in a cosmic dance. But here's where things become truly fascinating for us on Earth. When we move through higher density regions, it's like entering a cosmic party zone. More cosmic rays and high energy particles may be encountered, which could have a significant impact on our climate, atmospheric chemistry, and perhaps the evolution of life itself. Let's get a little closer now. We all know how the sun moves and shakes, bringing Earth and the rest of the crew along for the journey. However, guess what? Every star in the universe has the moves. Their movement is quantified by something called proper motion, which is similar to their groovy waltz across the sky over time. Astronomers measure proper motion in arc seconds per year, which tells us how far a star moves across the sky in a year. Proper motion enables us to comprehend the dynamics of the Milky Way. We can learn about the galaxy's mysteries by studying the movement of stars and their relative locations to one another. And while we're on the subject of motion, consider Earth's perspective. The locations of neighboring stars in the night sky appear to vary gradually over time due to our voyage around the sun. This mind-boggling phenomena is known as parallax. The amount of parallax we see is determined by the distance of a star from Earth. Stars closer to us have a more noticeable parallax effect, whereas those farther away have a more faint effect. Astronomers may utilize the parallax effect to calculate the distance to neighboring stars, which helps us comprehend the size and structure of our galaxy. The night sky is not fixed. Aside from parallax, proper motion, or the shifting positions of surrounding stars, influences our view of constellations over time. This indicates that the patterns we observe today will seem different in the future, as they did in the past. But how can Earth move through the entire universe? Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is not alone on its journey. It is constantly dragged by the gravitational forces of other masses. We're currently traveling at a few hundred miles per second towards the Andromeda Galaxy. But it isn't all. The Milky Way is a member of the local group, which comprises over 54 other galaxies, including Andromeda. The local group, like other galaxy clusters, is en route to a superdense region known as the Great Attractor. This distant gravitational force controls the migration of galaxies within hundreds of millions of light years, and we're being drawn towards it at 373 miles per second. However, Earth's cosmic voyage does not stop there. The entire universe is expanding, which causes galaxies to drift apart. This expansion is a stretching of space rather than movement in space. Scientists use the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the leftover heat from the Big Bang, to calculate our speed in relation to the cosmos. 
They discovered that the Earth and our solar system move at around 229 miles per second in relation to this radiation. Earth is, in essence, a part of a huge and intricate system of celestial movements. It gently orbits the Sun within the solar system, which in turn hurtles through the enormous Milky Way, producing a corkscrew pattern in its wake. The Milky Way is a member of the local group, and they all dance towards the enigmatic Great Attractor. Furthermore, the cosmos itself is expanding, with galaxies moving apart at an amazing rate. The motion of the Earth is only one element of this incredible cosmic puzzle. To summarize, Earth's trip through the cosmos is far from a leisurely spin around the Sun. It's an action-packed adventure full with cosmic influences, celestial dances, and mind-blowing insights. From cosmic rays to the possibility of dramatic climate change, Earth is a part of an ever-changing cosmic tapestry, from the perturbation of the outer planets to the intricate choreography of the Milky Way galaxy. Alright everyone, here's where the video ends. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.